Hi everybody, welcome back. Right, this is another part of Lee Baker's engine and gearbox build. This is the gearbox part of it. Uh, right now we've got all the parts we need now to, to build the gearbox back together. Everything has been cleaned. So we've got all your shifting stuff here, shifting forks, uh, or everything to do with the shifting mechanism. You've got your um, reverse gear shaft here. Actually, I'll put reverse gears, that was down there. Um, input, bottom drop gear, lay gear, main shaft, new competition, uh, lay shaft, that's the lay gear, by the way. Shifting um, tube and all the associated bits, your bearing uh, pinion retainer, which is all being cleaned. Um, pinion nut. This goes on to the double roller main bearing. Now you don't get this with a brand new double roller bearing, you must take it off the old one. It's basically the retainer to stop the bearing, go bearing going in too far. So that's got to come off your old bearing. Um, there's your other circlet retainer for the first motion. Yeah, so basically everything's here, apart from reverse gear, which I forgot to put on here. So I'll, I'll give that a clean in a minute and do that. Um, actually here. Give that a bit of a clean up before I put it in. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So we'll crack on with the build. Okay, moving on. The first job you need to do when you're actually putting this, starting to put the gearbox together, you need to put this in first. This is basically a shifting tumbler. So that goes from the inside of the gearbox into the hole in the back. And that's that. Done. Next job, top hat. Goes on there like that. Followed by the reverse gear shifter which goes down there like that and lines up we go on like that okay that's followed by a, a little spacer Goes on there Then your next shifter goes on there. Now this has got a bevel on both sides. That's the next one to go on. Which goes that way around. Like that. Another little spacer. And the top one, which is only beveled on one side. So that one goes in there like that. Washer and nut. Hasn't got to be mega tight, just nip it up. Make sure it all moves freely, which it does. Right, we'll move on to the next part. Okay, the next step is to get your, your slider for your selectors. Just try it in the gearbox. <clears throat> Make sure it goes in nice and easy, nice and smooth. Doesn't catch anywhere which it does. So the next job is to fit the third and fourth gear selector. So that goes down into there. Put your rod through. I'll go into there like that. 
then get your first and second shifter which goes down that push the rod through now you'll notice I don't know whether you can see it on the camera but here there's a hole and there's a hole in the third and fourth selector that must line up they must line up together because there's a pin that goes in there and I'll just grab it little pin and it is it has got a short a slight chamfer on the one end so basically you get that lined up that's gone a little bit too far now so just tuck that back a little touch little screwdriver push that back so that lines up just about the oh, it keeps moving come on There. Pin goes in there. Get a drift or a punch. Tap that down. And that's your selectors fitted. Okay, the next job is to fit your reverse gear. So basically that chamfer faces that away. So you pop it over there. Get your shaft with a slot in. The slot goes the the speedo drive end of the gearbox. That's the place that way. So just slide it over. Pop that through there. Make sure reverse gear works, which it does. Okay, on to the next job. Okay, next job. It's fitting the main gear cluster, <coughs> which is here. They basically just slide it in, and then drop the synchro hubs onto selectors like that. And what you do then, get your fourth or final gear, pop your new bearing in. Drop of assembly lube in there. New bearing. Bulk ring. Mustn't forget the bulk ring. Bulk ring on there. And that pops on there. Like that. Right, next stage is going to be fitting the main bearings. Okay, the next job single roller bearing. Goes over there like that. Well, let's try and get this in. This is the wrong way for me because I'm actually left handed, so. Get in there. Okay, that's that bearing in. Next one will be the double roller. Right, well, just before we fit the double roller, I need to get this uh, clip in. It's the bearing retainer for the single roller. So basically, just get your clips, put that in there. Give it a tap round to make sure it's seated. Perfect. Okay, right, I've got the double roller here, the new one. I've put the clip in, which I mentioned on a previous clip. You need to make sure that's in because you don't get it with the new roller bearings you have to use the one off the old bearing so that just goes into place like that 
it's going to be awkward again for me because I'm doing it the other way around so what I normally do it but I'll just give that a tap in it's not lined up yet properly it's better that's it right that's in right on to the next stage the next step is to fit the leg gear. So, just put the new bearings, a bit of assembly lube, get your thrusts, put a bit of assembly lube on, on it just to stop it from falling off when you put it on the casing. Pop that one in there. Get your lie shaft, lie gear, sorry. Pop that on there. Now what you need to do, because this is having a central oil pickup, you need to roll this down at the same time. So basically pop your oil central pickup just into place there, then roll the gear down while you're just trying to move that into place. And that's it. Just get your light. New light shaft. We put that in there. And then you need to get your other thrust. Pop it. This can be a bit awkward. That's it. Pop that in there. And you need to sort of line that up now from the other side. To get that to go in. Yeah, that's it. Give that a tap. That's it. There you go. That's in. So basically, all I've got to do now, I'll turn the gearbox round and start doing stuff up from the other side. Okay, we lost a little bit of footage there. Basically, what it was, I was just fitting the, the uh, bearing retainer. Uh, the battery went, went flat on the GoPro and I didn't realise. So basically, all it was was just putting the bearing retainer on, doing the three bolts up to torque, and then just flattening over the, the lock tabs. So um, we'll just carry on with the next job. Okay, right. Next job. Fit the pinion for the differential. So that, he says... Just should slide over there. There you go. A lot washer. And the pinion nut. Well, these will be talked up. Well, that one will be talked up to 150. 150 pounds sort of torque. Spin the box around. Hopefully you can see that. And we'll just put sticks on underneath the box just to raise it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Bottom drop gear, input gear. It should go on there like that and now we need the lock tab and nut for that okay right now what you have to do I don't know whether you'll be able to see this on the camera, but I'll try and show it you. You have to move the spool basically out the way. So basically it's not it's not selecting any gears. You can't select any gears with that now. So what that enables you to do is to knock the gearbox into two gears at once. Okay, so I normally lock them into fourth. Fourth and first. That's moved over enough. Out of the way. 
fourth. This is going to be awkward now because it's the wrong way around for me. And first. So now that gearbox is locked, it ain't moving nowhere. So what I'm just going to do now, I'll torque up these two bolts and then we'll come back onto the next step. Okay, so I've locked off those two, the nuts, the, the pinion nuts and the first motion shaft nut to 150 pounds foot of torque. I've locked over the lock tabs. Now there's a, there's a test you need to do now. Now you've got to this point of the gearbox build. Basically, obviously you can spin it round, it spins round lovely. Now the problem that some people come across is, is that when you fit new ball rings, this is why in a previous video, uh, video I said that you need to measure the ball rings on the cone of the gears because sometimes if, if the third gear ball ring is tight on the gear the way to test it to see if it is or not is to put the gearbox into reverse okay so that's now in reverse now if the third gear code uh, third gear ball ring was tight on the cone you would not be able to turn this gearbox look at that Beautiful. That's why you need to measure stuff. So it's locking back out of reverse, back into neutral. And that's gonna be it for today, I think. Um, the next, on the next episode, I'll be fitting, more than likely be fitting the speedo drive housing. Uh, there's a couple, there's a little bearing to go on the end of the, the nose of the uh, input gear and basically doing up the uh, putting the uh, gasket on the central oil pickup and doing that up what i will do now though for now is just put the nut and bolt in just so i don't lose it just 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 put it in finger tight just loosely that is, this is this is easier said than done as well sometimes okay so i've just done that just finger tight, it needs to be finger tight so you've got plenty of wiggle room for when you put the nuts, the bolts in at the back of the the central oil pickup. But, okay, so I hope that's been, uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, quick rundown of how basically to put an i-series uh, mini gearbox together. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one.